Hey everybody, so here is our turn progression for the hammer throw. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it. We'll get the major components out of the way and then we'll start talking about them. Unwind, this is our 180 position. Step and catch. Push to zero. Okay, so three major por portions, um, segments in this drill. Okay, we like to break it down and just into a, like a three count. So we'll do 180 as one, and we'll do step as two, and then push to zero as three. Okay, so we come through, let's get to here. All right, this is a good example here of what we are trying to do with our feet. All right, so with our left foot, all right, the heel is the one that's working on the ground coming through the 180, okay? So going into the 180, we have our left heel on the ground working, rotating. The toe is pulled up to the knee, okay? So we have heel on the ground. We have the heel on the ground, and we got our toe up. All right. Then on our right leg, we have the opposite. So our in the 180, our right toe is the one that's working and pushing, and our right heel is the one that's up. Okay, so we'll continue. All right, so here, I'm getting into my 180, all right? So I've gotten my left foot 180 degrees from the start. That's why we call it a 180. Okay, so we start, that's where we finish. Okay, or at least for the foot, that's where we finish. Now I wanna be able to push my body over top of that left foot. So what I'm gonna be doing is pushing my toe, my right toe here, okay, back up just a little bit, pushing my right toe to be able to get over my left side, okay, so we want to shift the body weight over top of the left foot, all right, find your balance, then once you push with that right foot, you'll be able to have your body stacked over top of each other, okay, like so. Line from the neck. Okay. So it's right there. Okay, so we're all in line over top of the left leg. We're balanced. We're ready to go. All right. Right into the next step. We have our step. Here. Okay, so notice that once I got into my position, all right, we want to be able to have this a little bit quicker, but for breaking this down, I was a little bit slower pulling the heel up on the left leg. So what we need to do here, once we get into 180, we want to immediately come, come up to the toe on the left, the left foot, all right? So you can kind of see right down here, the heel is up just a little bit, but as you get into um, more aggressive turns and everything, you're going to want to be able to get to 180, and as soon as your toe touches, you're going to want to have to have your heel up, okay? So as we go into our step, all right, you'll see that I want to keep my legs tight, all right? The way that we go about doing this is we teach an ankle scrape, okay? So what we want to do here... Okay, we're looking right there. We want to come through. We want to take the inside of the right foot, okay, or your heel, the inside of your right heel, scrape it on the inside of your left ankle, okay? As we go through this, you'll see that my toe is trying to pull up, 
okay? This toe is trying to pull up to my knee, all right? That prevents us from hooking our leg with our, with our right toe, okay, and causing us to trip up. So we want to be able, when we go and step and we go to scrape this ankle, we want to have our right toe pulled up to the knee, scrape the ankle, and then step down. All right. And as you go, and once you go to step, you will start to rotate a little bit on your left foot. So don't be too worried about, oh, how am I going to get to that position? Um, you will start to rotate as you push off the, the right leg a little bit, scrape the ankle, and stepping to 3 o'clock. Okay, so if we had a clock from where we started... Okay, so if we were here, we have we have our twelve o'clock, our three o'clock, six o'clocks back there, nine o'clocks over here. Okay, so we want to be able to step to three o'clock. Ideally, we want it to be behind, just like we talked to talked about um, when we start to push the ball. We want to have the ball behind us a little bit. Um, we want to catch it behind that hundred and eighty degree mark. Okay, so we have a longer time to be able to push. That's the same thing for these feet. If we can catch it earlier behind that 180 degree mark, okay? So if we had our circle be here, line across, it's our 180 line. If we can go and catch the ball, catch the ball back here, okay? that gives us more time or like at this angle if our foot can be at this angle catching behind three o'clock all right so we have three twelve six nine in this example okay so twelve o'clock's front of the circle so if we can step down behind three o'clock like we want to catch behind three o'clock or behind the 180 degree line here. That gives us more time to be able to push and it allows us to be able to push earlier than if we were to step at three o'clock or say two or one o'clock, right? So we wanna be able to give ourselves the most amount of time to be able to push on this ball. So stepping between three and four o'clock, that is our, our range here, okay? so back so we have our step from here when we step we're going to we're going to stay up on the balls of our feet okay your heels don't touch the ground your left heel doesn't touch the ground until um, you go back into your 180 for the second turn okay so after your 180 you're going through and you are working on the ball of your foot, rotating around back to the 180. And as soon as you get there, then you drop your left heel and go. Okay, so be here. Push back to zero. Okay, so you can see how as I got back to zero, the left heel starting to come down. Right heel is starting to come up, okay? And I'm getting ready to go into the next turn, okay? So as we push back, we want to drop the left heel to set us up for the next turn. All right, go ahead and give it a shot.